Hello everybody, I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, this is New Revolution TV, revolutionize your life. And if you haven't already heard, I'm about to tell you. So recently this morning, I'm not sure exactly around what time, or maybe it was last night, I just remember hearing about it this morning while I was at work and whatnot, but I did Jason Al uh, Jason Aldean concert. Jason Aldean is a country singer, I believe. I don't know, I don't follow country and music. But basically, he's a country singer and... 50 people were killed by a shooter and 400 other people were injured. But I'm I'm going to make a prediction right now about this shooting. So, within a few hours, maybe not even with a few hours of this video, maybe within a few minutes of this video that I'm uploading right now that you're watching. First things first. Alt right site, altright.com, the one ran by Richard B. Spencer, he's going to most likely either blame the Jews or he's going to say that the shooter is a ex Muslim extremist and that this was part of an alternative uh, that this was part of an alternative left attack he will most likely perhaps even say that there's evidence of it on social media of this they will most likely falsely accuse somebody that isn't even connected to the crime of being the suspect not only that, they will claim also that the shooter is a member of the anti-fascist organization Antifa. They will also claim that the shooter, even though we recently, later on find out that the shooter ha share, has no actual political ideology and never expressed any political ideology, the alternative right media and alternative right trolls on Twitter, on Facebook, and Tumblr will try to tell us that... He has a long history of being a Democrat. They will also claim that it's a false flag attack to seize the guns or to spread fear and that the shooting never even happened. They'll talk about crisis actors and all kinds of other bullshit within minutes of uploading this video. I'm pretty sure it will happen. They will claim that it's some all plan to seize our guns and other bullshit like that. They would claim that the person is connected to Antifa and that the person is a Muslim terrorist and that they're associated with another person. You'll see, pop, most likely, there'll be a tw person who will tweet a post that says, I have reason to believe right here. I have his voter record, the the person that shot, and he, is vo he voted for Hillary Clinton. Mark my words, people, this is exactly what will spread on the mass media, the real fake news. will post all this bullshit about how he's connected to the Democratic Party, when in reality, it was probably just a person that was mentally ill. Just saying. I'm Mordecai Lacrosse. Until next time, stay wicked.